I'm here with Matt Green. Now, Matt, the, uh, the Kings have focused a lot on building their defensive play the last few years. That's set, but what do you want to improve on personally through your play this season? Uh, just everything. I think you can always get better in every, uh, in every facet of the game. You know, so hopefully just uh, you know, being better with the puck and uh, being hard to play against and just everything. You always want to get better. What did you take away from the series against San Jose? Uh, that, you know, the mistakes can kill you, and that's it. And that's, uh, that's what happened this year. I think there was a lot of good we could take away from it, but at the end of the day, you got to realize you lost and, and look back and see why you lost. And it was, uh, it was a matter of just mental mistakes most of the time. You know, I think we did a good job of, uh, you know, letting them back in their games and, and beating ourselves a lot of the time, where I think it's, you know, they're a veteran team, and they did a good job of, you know, they, they locked it down when they needed to, got back in the games when they needed to, and we can learn a lot from the way they played and, and see uh, what it takes to win. Speaking of uh, going into the off season, what's your training regime like during the off season? Do you give yourself a certain amount of time just to kind of step away from the sport altogether, or do you try to just keep up with your training throughout the entire off season? Everybody's different. I mean, I try to just uh, keep up with it all the time. I think it's tougher to come back if you take some time off, and, and it's not like you're really killing yourself at the end of April, you know, doing workouts, but just making sure that you're keeping your body in shape, and and uh, you know, then eventually, you know, ramping up the training so you're. You know, you're getting close to, uh, you know, you want to be in great shape coming into camp. But, I mean, just always staying active. Plus, too, they, you have so much time on your hands. If you're not working or not doing anything, you uh, you need something to fill your day. You need something to get up in the morning. So, it's, uh, I think it's just easier to keep the training going right away. Now, now, speaking of filling your time, I understand that you were the judge of the uh, fans tattoo contest a couple months ago. Yeah. Are you a uh, tattoo connoisseur yourself? I like tattoos. I have, uh, I have some. And, uh. You know, I like it, and they approached me if I wanted to do it. And I said sure, and it was a uh, it was a good deal. There's a lot of uh, interesting tattoos out there for Kings fans there, so it was uh, it was fun seeing that though. And yeah, I'd by no means uh, a, a connoisseur or an expert, but uh, <laughs> no, I I enjoy it. I think it's uh, I think it's a great form of expression, and uh, I have a lot of respect for people who have them and do them. Well, you definitely have the personality to be the judge of something like that because you're you're just fun, fun to interview, fun to talk to. So I bet you did have a really good time with that contest. Hey, thanks for that. I appreciate that.